expensive airplane ticket that money can buy. $25,000 to fly one way to Dubai. It is a first class suite on Emirates. And I say suite because look how big this thing is. I have all of this room for activity. And why, you might ask, why would you do such a thing? Well, when I was 17, I almost died. I was in the hospital for a few months. It was a really traumatic experience. And I promised myself that if I got through it and survived all of that, I would complete a bucket list that I made when I was in the hospital. And of course, a few of the items on that bucket list were the things we're gonna be doing in the next four YouTube videos. So stay tuned. We have 16 hours to go. Let's get into the video. Oh, also um, subscribe if you want to because we're getting really close to 4 million and I think that that would make my mommy proud. So, yeah. All right, so right over here we have the privacy screen so that, you know, I don't have to look at other people, which I actually love because I have social anxiety. And you may not know it because I hide it well, but I have severe social anxiety. Over here, we have blankets and pillows. Cool. We have this mini bar. Wow. And they were like, oh, it's complimentary. They also gave me this goodie bag of skincare products because later I get to take a shower in a plane in the air. Then I'll have almost knocked everything off my bucket list of things to do in planes. Yoga. I'm talking about yoga. I got some snacks. Literal, real fresh orchids. Because that just seems necessary. And then there's this giant TV. It's bigger than Pearson's forehead. But if you don't want to bother bending forward, you can use this. Or you can use this. There's literally three ways to use your TV. That's insane. They also gave me this super fancy skincare stuff. There's like toner, eye cream, towelette, mist, and a vanity mirror. How am I ever going to get on a normal plane again? I almost forgot to tell you guys. I brought two of my best friends in the whole wide world on this trip with me. But of course, I couldn't afford three first class flights, so they're in economy. I hope they're doing well back there. So, Lexi, hope you're doing well up there, enjoying your five star meal. We're getting ready to embark on our delicious garbanzo beans with tatsuki. Let's choose them. I give it 1.5. <laughs> Hope you're living it up, Lexi. Let's try some snacks. First up, we have an orange flavored date. Oh wow, tastes just like candy. Next up, we have that fruit bad. Good. Mixed vegetable chips. I don't want to try these. I'm gonna be honest with you. So I took a fat nap. It's now nine at night, and I'm like just now. Thick. I 
actually really, really comfortable. I made like a whole bed with sheets. This is definitely gonna be the best I've ever slept on an airplane. Except that one time that I took z -Cool and I just completely woke up in Sweden. Anyways, I'm gonna watch some Star Wars and try to fall asleep at a perfect movie. And um, when I wake up, I will take a shower and then be in Dubai. As fun as it's been, the past 16 hours. Actually, no, it's just a terrible experience. Yeah. That's horrible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How was the flight? Okay. Not good. <laughs> How was your flight? It was like 16 hours too long, dude. But sorry, because we made it. We're here, we're in Dubai. We're going to get to it. So of course the only way we could get to the hotel was to take a Rolls Royce because why would we take any other car? <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? This is crazy! We have made it to Dubai. 